In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Chamfer. So Chamfer has recently been re-released uh, for Drupal 7. It's completely different under the hood um, for reasons of accessibility and uh, adaptive responsive theme design. So it's now based on a project called Omega. Uh, Omega is a, a theme framework uh, for producing sub-themes um, that give you all the benefits of Omega. And so Omega is a very accessible theme, um, has a lot of flexibility in it, and is used by a lot of people, as you can see, uh, almost 34,000 reported installs. Uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is, we download Chamfer for Drupal 7, um, you're gonna wanna also get the Chamfer defaults feature. And so the Chamfer defaults feature actually, uh, in Omega you can bundle up uh, block positioning and box settings and things like that um, in context, which is another module, um, so that it's more repurposable and can kind of revert back to the previous layout that you had. There's a lot of advantages to doing it this way. Uh, so another project that you might want to check out that I'll be demonstrating here slightly is uh, TinyNav. So TinyNav is a library that uh, I went about initially integrating into Chamfer and then abstracted it back out uh, it can work with any theme. There's an associated screencast for that. Uh, so let's get into what Chamfer actually looks like. So this is a version of Chamfer that I have set up. Once you install the the uh, feature and you have some content thrown in here, you should get something similar. Um, so it's a basic three column. Um, you have your menu items here. Or actually, sorry, there's a block area that I've just dropped a menu block into. I have another menu block over here. To illustrate that area, uh, as I scroll down the page, you'll see you know, just typical uh, things you can see on here. This is a box um, that the features provide so that you have a footer. Uh, so you can make a footer, you know, type, site title, and slogan are up here. Nothing terribly complicated going on. Uh, what Omega ends up giving you, and so I'll pull the browser in here, is that it becomes a responsive theme. And so you see as I drag in from the side, that content shifts around, different properties realign themselves. And you see, I can obviously have some work still to do on it, but the idea is that this works on mobile. Um, what I need to do here is configure Tiny Nav to work nicely with this, because in my previous demonstration, I changed the settings. So, what we want to do is go into Tiny Nav, and we're going to uh, set these back to what the default is. So got the zone region, uh, this, this targets in Omega, the uh, top area correctly. And I believe I want to say 900 so. so now when I pull in from the side, because I'm using tiny nav, there we go. So switch over there. And you can then make tweaks to it after the fact. So you know, I don't want this to target there, I actually want it at the Forty pixels is the threshold. Um, there we go. Oh, still not. So I'm moving further. See, the other nice, well, one of the really nice things about uh, Omega is you can just really rapid prototype changes uh, quickly. And so there we go. That looks a lot better now with Tiny Nav integrated appropriately. Um, let's see what that looks like in Safari. And so. This is when I'm not logged in to get a little better experience. Uh, another nice thing, feature of Chamfer is that you may notice the book navigation actually rips out of the page at one point. So when you get down small enough, there we go, you know, that you're on a, uh, effectively a uh, mobile phone that's in either portrait or landscape um, that you, so we'll zoom in, and you can imagine actually just clicking through in our case, you know, taking a course. So this is a very simple theme uh, for this reason. Another nice feature of Chamfer historically has been that you can uh, recolorize it, and that has been brought along to actually in a more standard way than previously. So if you go into appearance settings and Chamfer, uh, first of all, you'll see this is all the things that Omega get you. So you can you can uh, change and switch this around pretty quickly. Um, for example, like in the content section, this is where the content sidebar uh, and the two sidebars are defined. Um, 
the width of these are actually all in configuration, as well as position and you know, weighting as to how they slide together. So um, I would highly recommend digging in and, and playing around with Omega because it's very impressive. You basically take away the need to worry about widths and worry about um, you know, responsive design, quite frankly, because it does a lot of it for you. Um, so what you can do if you scroll down is you'll see there's color scheme. And I've already provided a couple by default, so let's switch to uh, you know, what I claim to be Drupal um, We'll scroll to the bottom and hit save. And then this will effectively rewrite the color scheme. And so you can see I was using the Drupal Dialer color scheme. So let's use a different one. Uh, if you're a developer, there's also a book that's been added in, so you can actually inject your own without having to edit it. Um, so let's switch to Space Opera. There we go. And so, see it changed this. The highlighting is different as well in the theme. The links with the active color is different. You know, the text at the bottom, the links on the page. Um, so still, uh, we have some additional you know, colors that we can, we can map to in the future, but um, you can also then just go in and another cool thing is the gradient effect that's built into uh, either the color module of this implementing. So let's do like a lighter blue, just to illustrate that we can do that. Um, exterior link color, let's go with yellow. This would be, would be hideous. <laughs> you can do some really good and bad things with this functionality. <laughs> um, I'm just demonstrate here. And so I'm trying to make something a little more tacky. <laughs> Save this configuration. There we go. So you get this nice CSS gradient. Um, this probably will turn out a little bit up there. Uh, at the bottom, though, yeah. so we still need to you know, map these properties, uh, obviously. Uh, here's our updated. Nap here, shadow the way it is, and these colors. So that's a basic tour of, of uh, Chamfer. So you can switch here and refresh and it switches over. So uh, please, if you notice any accessibility issues, uh, please submit them to view of taking the Drupal Accessibility Pledge. Um, although it should generally be accessible because of using uh, the Omega base theme and sticking to Omega standards.